Ah, uh, hello you guys. How are you? Um, it's, it's been um, almost three weeks. Um, I turned off the ACs because it's like not that um, hot or anything outside. But um, I'm going to turn my phone on silent just because um, uh, what you're hearing is Joe doing some yard work here on the land. Um, okay, uh, what was I going to do? Oh yeah, turn my sound off. Sorry guys. Um, uh, I haven't posted in a few weeks. Um, this Thursday um, will be the um, Thursday will be um, the second week anniversary of my uh, nephew Trey's death, and um, it was my a family on my family on Joe's side, and um, you know um, Joe's sister has always been like my sister, and his brother's always been like my brother, and um, his niece has always been my niece, and um, I'm I'm fortunate to have known him for um, the for the the ten plus years that I that I have that I mean that I did. I, I, it's so hard to use um, past tense, but um, I did like a purple glittery eyeshadow look and um, a purple lip liner um, because um, purple was uh, his favorite color and um, I wore uh, the vintage <coughs> excuse me um, vest that my grandmother wore to. Uh, the Cher concert um, in 1970 or 70, it was 70 or 71 whenever she was pregnant with my mother. So it, it meant a lot to me and he loved that, um, he loved that freaking sweater. I mean he loved that uh, vest. Did I already say sweater? Oh my god. But um, I wore um, this shirt um, that is just, it's just like um, red, white, and dark blue. It probably looks black on camera, I'm not really sure. But um, I wore that. Um, with uh, the, the vest that I was just talking about. Um, in case you guys are new here, I haven't showed it off on my channel in a good probably six or seven months. And um, I'm sorry if like um, Joe using the tractor and stuff and the brush hog thing to like do, I'm not even sure what that means, but it's some some lawn, piece of lawn equipment that um, that, that he does or whatever. And um, uh, you know, Tr uh, Trey and Joe worked together. Like they, they were like work buddies. And that's the thing about, uh, but okay, yeah, here, let me get this out of the way. And then I wore this, um, this coat over it. I love this little coat. It was actually like thirty dollars at Walmart, believe it or not. But um, yeah, um, we're having a really tough time with it. Um, and I just, uh, I just wanted to distract myself and like do a full face and stuff and um, just like talk to you guys because um, it just it always helps with my anxiety. You know what I mean? Oh, there's Jupiter. He's coming now. But um, uh, look how big she is. It's the biggest she's ever been. And I'm pretty sure that Jupiter, that fornicator knocked her up. I'm pretty damn sure. Come here. Jupiter, come see. Come see, buddy. And this one, um, that I showed off well over three months, uh, like, probably at least three months ago, um, or maybe two, I mean, two and a half, but, um, he is, um, an absolute treasure, and he's, like, such a part of the family, but I swear, like, he's fully grown. Like, this is as big as he's gonna get. He's a tiny little cat. He's, like, a third the size of Ruby, and, I, and Ruby's a small cat, so, like, I'm, I just, it's weird. It's, like, he's still in his teenage phase, and it's like he's constantly like pulling the curtains down and stuff and um, knocking um, curtain, knocking shower curtains down and you know stuff like that. But he's amazing and I love him and I just wanted to show him off and stuff. And well, I can't leave out hard. My video wouldn't be complete if I couldn't show off this sweet, 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 sweet little angel. Mm, I love you, buddy. Papa loves you. <laughs> but no, um, oh god, these three uh, fur babies, um, and my mom, um, and um, my niece and my uh, sister-in-law, my brother-in-law, and, and Joe um, have been so supportive. Um, we were very close. Um, he was like a little brother to me. He wasn't just my nephew, he was also my friend. And um, you know, it, it, it seemed surreal and it seemed like a bad dream or a nightmare or whatever until um, like I actually saw him um, in, the, in the casket. And I was this close to not going. But I'm so glad that I went because I because I know that I would I would have regretted it, and I always tend to put things off. And um, I'm a procrastinator. Um, it's one of my one of my biggest flaws. And you know um, I just didn't want to. My thing is like I just didn't want to remember him that way, and I don't. Um, luckily, because he looked exactly the same, and he looked he just looked like he was resting. And um, it was um, it was obviously it was very very sad. It was. Um, it was tra it was traumatizing. Um, I I tried to be as strong as I could at the um, at the visitation, but um, I mean ever, I I didn't see a dry eye, a dry eye in the house. Um, you know he was in perfect health, and he was um, 24 years old, and he was an amazing person.
Not once did we ever have an argument. Not once did we ever, um, not once did we ever, um, raise our voices to one another. And, um, I can't remember a single disagreement that I ever had with him. Honestly, I can't. I can't. Um, I'm really, really sorry about that. I hope that I'm enunciating and uh, projecting enough with, with my voice, you guys. Um, okay, that's really loud. I mean, I, I say that like it felt real, um, you know, at the memorial service, but it um, it still doesn't feel real. Um, I still feel like he's just gonna walk walk in the door and. The Sunday before the Thursday that he passed away, um, which will be two weeks this thir this coming up Thursday, it's currently um, Saturday. I don't even Saturday. The, I can look at my phone because I'm not filming on it. Um, I'm not filming on it. Um, it's Saturday, November seventh at 1:19 p.m. Just for a little time stamp for you guys. But um, yeah, no. Um, Joe um, is struggling a lot. Um, I know he wouldn't mind my sharing that. Um, he's struggling a lot because. Um, you know, he's known him his whole life, and, um, you know, like, uncles aren't supposed to bury their nephews, it's not, it just didn't, it didn't seem right, and, like, what I keep telling myself is, like, um, like, it was just his time, you know what I mean, like, everybody has a time, but maybe there's no rhyme or reason to it, but everybody has a time, and I just, um, I know that he's in a better, in a better place, I can feel him all around me, um, I just miss him so much, and I tell him that every day, and, I've texted his phone a few times, even though I know that, I, I know I, I, I think that maybe he can, re maybe he got the text, you know, but it just, maybe he did, I like to think, I like to think that, I like to think that he did, I really do, and, um, um, what I'm trying to say is that, um, I just, um, I know that he, I don't hope, I know that he's in a better place, and, um, what I said on Instagram was that, um, he was too good for this world. Or the, this earth, or this planet—I don't remember how I worded it exactly, but um, it uh, it's very, very, very strange. Um, we we texted all the time. Um, I'm just so thankful, and I just feel like it was like divine intervention, or I don't—I don't even—I don't even know what like to how to describe it. But um, him and his um, his girlfriend Carol, his new girlfriend Carol came over the Sunday before on, before he passed away on Thursday, and, um, it was a perfect visit, um, we hugged each other, and it's, it just seemed like an, a longer, a longer hug than normal, you know, and he just said, I love you, uncle, and I said, I love you too, and I just never thought it would be the, la the last time that I would, I would be able to say that to him in person, I never would have thought that, and if you would have told me that, like, a month ago, it would have been like, you're insane. He was so alive that whenever I was spiraling out and stuff uh, four or five years ago, he was just so alive and, um, and and just giving me advice and he was wise beyond his years and that's why we were friends. And um, I just can't wait until I see him again and I just don't, um, I don't, I, I, you know, I, nobody, nobody knows for sure what happens whenever you die. I'm, I'm just so thankful that he passed away peacefully and that, um, I got to, we got to see him before he, um, before he died, and the autopsy report is still, um, indifferent, and there, um, uh, he, he, he wasn't even sick, he had chest pains, and he had taken a flight to Colorado, um, a week, about a week before, he went to the hospital on Thursday, and that's where he passed away, he was at the hospital, and his girlfriend was in the car, and had to drive his car home, and her and I have been bonding, and, and had have become friends, and I really think that Trey would, I think that Trey would warn us all, the family, and all of his friends and everybody to be closer. I think that's what he would want, I really do. Asking for sympathy, it's not about me, it's about Trey. And um, he was just, he was so supportive of every single thing that I ever did and was proud of me for every subscriber that I ever got. And I was proud of him for every everything that he did. And I can't think of a bad thing to say about him. He, I mean, I, I don't even, I've never heard him talk negatively about someone even. He was that good of a person, he really was. And um, Um, you know, it's like, uh, even though, um, I can't see him anymore, um, maybe he, I know he's, I know he's in a better place, and I'm just so thankful that he went fast at the hospital. I'm so thankful that he, um, 
wasn't in any, wasn't in any pain. That's what the doctors and the nurse staff were saying at the hospital where he passed away. But, um, you know, I'm sure that's true. I don't know why they would, um, you know, exaggerate slash um, embellish the, the, the story of Trey's passing. I, don't, I really don't know why they would. But, um, okay, I want to just change faces for a second. This one's going to be short and sweet. I just wanted to show off um, uh, a couple things I've, I've, I've rarely shown off on my channel. I'm not sponsored by anybody, so it's like a... I just like, whenever a makeup product's really good, I like to show it off. So, um, yeah. Okay. I, uh, we'll just go ahead and start with lips. For lip liner, because his favorite color was purple. Trey's favorite color was purple. I use this hard candy, um, Dirty Mind. It looks like this. I, lo I love the packaging. It's super cute. My dear friend Chrissy, um, sent it to me. Also, thank you so much to, um, Chrissy and Jackie for being there for me and supporting me. And, um, and being, uh two of my big, of my strongest rocks throughout this whole tragedy, and I really appreciate you guys more than you know, and, um, I, for, uh, mascara, I used, um, this Urban Decay, uh, Perversion, Bigger, Blacker, and Badder, it's the mini, um, I still haven't got, I haven't gotten my full size yet, um, and then this is, uh, the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion, and, um, just a little goes a long way, and I learned that the hard way, because if I lean, if I, if I get close enough to you guys, it's like, you can kind of see that I used a way more pri eye primer than I'm supposed to, but, you know, <laughs> what's, a girl, what's a girl to do? Um, okay, um, for, um, eyeshadow, I'm not showing it off, because it's on a palette by somebody that is problematic, and that I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna support any, any of their, um, any of their products or cosmetics anymore, but, um, uh, yeah, I'm just not going to. And then this is what I just did. That's why it's like purple and gold. gold purple, and, purple and gold were like two of his favorite colors. So I just used this LA Colors Holographic um, Iridescent Lip Gloss in the shade Gold Rush. And that's so funny that I used that and this at the same time. I love a good purple and gold moment. I use gold highlighter and um, yeah, the whole thing. But this is also by Urban Decay. It's a little mini um, and it's also called Fool's Gold. I doubt that's going to focus. I'm using natural light. I don't even know. I'm zoomed in. I'm st I'm st I mean, I've been a YouTuber for going on three years now, and I still have no idea how to do most things. That's okay, though. Um, and for concealer, I use this um, Lorac Los Angeles um, Pro Conceal slash Contour Palette. And um, that's what I use. It's got a really cool compact. My sister gave this to me. I love it. It's fabulous. And, um, okay, for highlighter, I haven't shown this one off in forever. My sweet, sweet friend Chrissy sent me this one as well. It's, um, as you can see, like, I've, um, I've, I've beaten this like a dead horse, kind of, you know what I mean? But, um... Okay, uh, no, but it's got a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful color story. It's got an amazing little mirror, as you can see, and it says, No amount of darkness can hide a spark of light. Sometimes in darker lighting you can see, um, the makeup better, and, um, that's another thing about Trace. He was the most open-minded and just loving person and non-judgmental person I've ever met, and... He was the first one to embrace me into that side of, the, my, of my family, and um, he just called me uncle um, since like the first time we met, and it's just um, it's something that I'm going to miss hearing. But um, I know that I'll see him again. I have to see him again. I can't live in a world or accept. I can't, you know. I ha that's how I have to grieve personally. Is just tell myself that I'm gonna get to see him again, and it's not that I don't believe it. I'm just scared that. It, you know, what if I don't get to see him again? You know, and I'm sorry, I said I wasn't going to be, be negative or talk about that anymore. I'm not being negative, I'm just grieving. But, um, I haven't used this in forever. I've shown it off my channel in forever. I've had it for, like, about, probably almost a year now. It's the, um, Paris Hilton Contour Blush, um, Bronze and Illuminator Palette. And, um, I used, um, these two shades combined for contour. And I used this combined with this shade, these two right here. Um, for bronzer uh, and all those places and contour on my cheeks contour on my nose uh, I mean, yeah, you get what you pay for the pan like the little <laughs> the little um eyeshadow I mean highlighter pan illuminator pan fell out but because it was um, $14 marked down to $7.99. I'm sure you can't see it But I got this in a little raw saw. I haven't shown it off in forever and um, last but not least um, to set my look um, I used this my sister my little sister Maddie my little sister um also gave me this, and, um, uh, it's, it's the Dior, um, uh, uh, Dior Skin Nude Air Loose Powder, and it comes with an awesome little puff, like, it says Dior on it, and it, like, gives you, like, if you do like this, 
it's like the exact amount that you, the, the, the exact amount that you need and it really like helps with my under eye bags and stuff right now because I haven't really been sleeping that much and once again not making this about me or trying to get sympathy or have a pity party for myself or anything like that because um, I, I don't deserve one I just um, I'm grieving and um, I'm at a loss for words so I'm going to end it here I just haven't posted in a few weeks and uh, I just wanted to let you guys know why and um, just thank you for the response on my last videos, um, my last two videos, my Randonautica videos, thank you for the support and for my new subscribers, I think I'm at 311 or 312 now, and that's so weird because three years ago I started out with 16, <laughs> and uh, everybody knows on YouTube it's not the easiest thing to get subscribers, but um, regardless, um, if you're a subscriber, if you're not, if you're new here, whatever, um, no idea what I'm going to title this video just yet, literally have no clue. I'll make, I'll make you some chicken in a minute, Harley, I know, Papa knows, I'm about to make it for you, I won't even edit my video first, I promise. Papa loves you so much. Okay. That was Joe's phone. I forgot to silence. I'm, I know. So professional, right? <laughs> but, um... In conclusiones... Um... I don't even... I don't even know if that's a, the correct Spanish terminology or whatever, but, um... I just want you guys to know that, um... I love each and every one of you, and, um... Videography, filming, um... Um... Acting, singing, just... Uh, I just like to entertain, and I hope I'm. An, I hope that I'm an entertaining person, and I tr and I don't have to try to be. I was about to say I try to be, but that's so phony if I did that. No, I'm just. Be, I I be myself. Like I'm myself on camera, and um, you know, there's a handful of you guys that um really enjoy me and all my eccentricities, and I really really appreciate that more than you guys could ever know. And um, I'm uh, you know, I'm I, I, grieving. It takes time, and. They say time heals all wounds, but I've always found that cliche to be untrue and invalid, in my opinion, because everybody grieves differently, and it just takes me a little bit longer sometimes. But um, I'm I'm gonna be fine, and Joe's going to be fine, and um, we just have to all be there for each other in the best ways that in the best ways that we possibly can, and that's just supporting each other because that's what Trey would have wanted, and um, Trey would have Trey would Trey would have wanted me to make this video right now, and um, I can just um, I can feel him all around me, and I see him everywhere, and everything reminds me of him. And that's okay. And that's okay. But, um, I love you guys, and I'll catch you in the next one. Never forget that Kind Rush loves you all so much.